what's up guys, every 67716 and welcome back to another redstone video. Now in this redstone video, I'm going to show you how to build a fully functioning Minecraft redstone clock. Although, there's actually a little bit of a catch. It would only work during the day because trying to get it to work at night and then having like bed sleep synchronization would be a little bit trickier. So what it does is it works during the day, it reloads for the night, and then if you sleep, it keeps reloading, but is kept in sync by some special circuitry. Now this clock has some special features. If you, if you listen closely, you may have heard that bell. You see, the bell will go off every single Minecraft minute. Now this clock goes all the way from 6 o'clock in the morning to 6 o'clock in the evening, aka 1800 hours. And... This clock has a few interesting perks, which I'm going to get into late a bit now. Like, as you can tell, it uses a hopper system, which, if you saw my video on Mumbo's button, it's basically that. Also, it has... This is the time that will go off at midday. And in this special circuit down here is the resetting circuit. And it will also chime that, be that bell to say that it's bedtime. And you can see the sun is setting, and not very long it's going to outload this. And once this gets to 3 unloaded, that will be when the bells go off. And this right here is the entire timing system, which you can see has the tick-tock and the circuit that controls the hopper. And <coughs> in any second, it's soon going to start ringing its bell which will say that it's about time to go to bed. There we go. And the whole thing will reload. The bell will turn off thanks to some sun stuff. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to build this entire clock. Although just before that, I want to pay my homage to the button, the second Mumbo built, that made it entirely possible for me to build my clock. And... I'll just press it now, and that will give me something orange. Any second, there we go. <laughs> now the key to starting off a redstone clock is that you need to find a chunk to put it. Now I've designed it so all the redstone can fit in a chunk, so that it doesn't break from like half of it being loaded or not. Now for optimum timing, it is best to build it in one of the spawn chunks. You can build it out of the spawn chunks, but you gotta know that like when you leave where it is and then come back, it will change. So it's best built near a base that you're nearly at a lot of the time. And if you just come back to that base, it will be off sync. But it's designed to resync at the end of every day, so that should be fine. Okay, that's a bit weird. Start off building it. You have to come to the edge of the chunk and place down 13 blocks of wherever you like. Actually, oh well, I guess I'll keep it with a cobble deep slate. It's you need to come up with the colour scheme you want for, like, the timing bar. So, the original one I had sort of a rainbow kind of colour, but for this one I'm going to do one which will, like, go from, like, dawn to, like, midday. And then the, like, back to dusk. Here. So that should be pretty good. Maybe something brighter right in the middle. The next thing you want to do is put along signs along the bottom that cover from like 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. or 600 to 1800, depending if you want it in military or standard time. So I'll just do that. Okay, now I've got all the numberings done. I've also got some special markers for like, actually, that should be 12 o'clock. So like, 12 o'clock will be when one time happens, and I'll also have it time more specifically at 3 o'clock. See, 3 o'clock is when villagers stop working, so it might be useful to know that. I might even put one at like 9 o'clock when the villagers start working, because, well, yeah, because that's kind of important to know. Anyway, now for the redstone-y bit. Firstly, we start by placing... I'll just turn the chunk borders off for now. You put redstone lamps along here to, like, signal, like, all this stuff. Then you roughly put some blocks in the same order that you do along the side. This will help to decode which redstone 
outputs you will need for what times of day. And actually, I want that to be normal. Maybe I'll keep it that color. Okay. Then the next thing you want to do is using the same blocks, uh, build off another offshoot here. Because this is where some comparators are going to sit, which do all the item decoding for the hopper chain. And after you get this base built, you need to put up some comparators on top. Like this. The next thing you want to do is build a hopper chain. Now, start with a block here, and then start place the hoppers, place the first one, then you're going to have to shift for all these. Although you've got to be careful where you're pointing. So this is going to be the area that will slowly load out items. A non-stackable such as shovels are the best thing to do with the job. Then place four hoppers here. Then do a line that circles around back this way. And once you reach back to here, destroy this block, and then connect the chain back. So this is going to be the hopper loading, where all the load, all like the items get queued up in certain areas. So you can see, if I throw an item such as a shovel into here, you can see that it's going to circle around and light all the lamps as it goes, eventually. And that's how you, there we go. And it will come back here. And there we go. So this is simply mostly how the clock will work. The next thing we need to build is the timing system. Okay, now to build the timing circuit, you need to place a block here with a repeater. It goes on two ticks. You need to place a block above here with a piece of redstone. Now this redstone is going to be powered by a observer, which is going to be connected to a piston, which will go here. Now we need to build an ethyl hopper timer. So what we need to do is come down one block here. It doesn't matter if it's shifted one block to the left or to the right, but I'll shift it one block to the right because that's how my design built it. And then once it's like that, we can build the timer. So place two hoppers, they ha both have to face into each other. Then we need a comparator, a block, and redstone, and then a piston. And we have to do the exact same on this side. Comparator, block, redstone, piston. Now we need a block here. Okay, just before we go on, I need to tell you how a Minecraft day works. Now, a Minecraft day lasts 20 normal minutes. Now, a Minecraft day, in Minecraft terms, lasts 24 Minecraft hours. So what that means is this chart is going through around about 13 Minecraft hours. Now, a Minecraft hour is actually 50 seconds long. So what this means is we need this hopper to oscillate five times per a Minecraft hour. Because what why that has to be is since there are five items in here, you need to let one item out every fifth of a Minecraft hour. So what that means is since a Minecraft minute is 50 minutes long, you're going to need to divide that by five to get ten. Now, this actually doesn't work because the problem with this ether hopper timer is that it goes through one item every four ticks, but we want it to go through two items every second. So what we need to do is build a master oscillator off to the side. So this can be done by building off blocks like that and then using torches to lock these hoppers. And it's a good idea to make sure all the items are in one area to make sure it's as in sync as it can be. Then what you want to do is build off in this direction, place one tor, I mean one repeater, and then place some redstone. Then you want to place some blocks off like this. And then what you got to do is place a comparator here on subtract mode, a repeater on four ticks, and then wrap a redstone signal around. Now, if you power this, 
you will know that it's a 1 hertz timer, so it's on for half a second and off for half a second. And that is enough to allow for two items to go through while it's on for five ticks, which means it will go through two items per second. Now, there's a way you can actually make this go tick-tock. Now, to make this circuit go tick-tock, you can place a piece of glass here with a note block here, and you need to press it eight times. And then over here, you can place a torch, and then a piece of glass here with another. And that gives you a good tick-tock noise. And then maybe one more. So this is the entire timing circuit done. All we need to do now is build all the resetting circuits and the timings. Okay, so for the circuit that will turn the clock on during the day, it's very simple. All you have to do is place a redstone block right off to the side here. Behind it, you need a piston, a normal piston, and then you need a seven block area. So, it's seven blocks. And then you need to place a daylight sensor. So this is going to be what keeps the clock on during the day. And then once this turns off, it will, um, like, leave this there, and then the night circuit will deal with it later. So, you gotta make sure that this has seven redstones, so it's on at- So it turns on roughly around six o'clock in the day, which is right when a player gets up, if it's not right. Although there is some inconsistency with raining, but with no real way to detect rain that I know of, I can't really do that at this time. Now, the night circuit is a little bit trickier, because not only does it have to turn off the clock, but since there's a lot of redstone in this area, it has to do it in a way where none of the pistons or stuff get block updated or get quasi-connectivity or any of that mumbo-jumbo. Oh, great, I did it again. So what you need to do is place an observer here, which will face... Wait, I'm in the wrong area. What you need is a piston that is right here, and then, then above here, I should have done this, I need to place an observer. Then, the observer needs to be able to face into the piston. Then, over here, I need to place a piston facing into the- a sticky piston facing into the observer. And then, this needs to come up like this. Actually, no, come up here. And then this will run to a night sensor, a night detector, which is a daylight detector in inverted mode, which does the exact opposite of a normal daylight detector. So what I need to do is bring this circuit over here, but make sure it doesn't get anything nasty happening. And what this has to do is place a night detector and then build up a circuit. I think it's four blocks, but I'll just double check that. Make sure you have four redstone output coming out of your nighttime detector. Then you need to place a repeater and then you need to run the redstone signal over like this. And I just need to check this works, which, oh, this is just at the right time. Although I can just wing it by using a redstone torch anyway, so... Yep, that turns it off. So, just put night light detector back, and... Yeah. Although, I think this set is a bit out of sync now. Okay, now you need to come over here, and same thing, build a redstone circuit that comes down four blocks. Because so, it needs to run at the same signal strength, and it's just easier to build another that comes off here. And then, build a piston here, with a observer here. Now what this is going to do, is this is going to run the reset circuit, which will reload the entire clock back to the top, but not overload it, otherwise it will, the clock will gain, which is 
not very good and I don't like my redstone to not be super efficient. So what I'm going to need to do here is we need to build a ethyl hopper pulse extender. Okay, now what I need to do is place a block of a piece of redstone here, that is, and a repeater here. And this is going to be where the ethyl hopper pulse extender that resets the, the clock goes. So what I need to do is place a block here, place a compatter here, place a hopper here, hopper directing into that hopper, redirect that hopper, place a compatter, place a block here, place redstone on both of the blocks. Now this block needs to be a sticky piston, and this block needs to be a regular piston. That's the only difference between an ethyl hopper timer and an ethyl hopper pulse extender. Now unfortunately, this is off by one item, but that, that can be easily fixed. Place a repeater here, then place another repeater here on four ticks, then route the circuit into itself, and that will do. All I need to do now is make sure this has half a stack of items. And then to reset the hoppers, all I need is a, a torch that is here, and then this will turn that torch off, allowing it to reset entirely. So hopefully, eventually, all the items should end up back in here, and there should be no extra items. Now, if I am right, this means the entire... Oh, 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 oh dear. Oh no, uh-uh. Oh no, I'll just destroy that, place the block, then replace the redstone. I completely forgot the block of redstone, because I'm an idiot. So, yeah, that's an ether hopper pulse extender, with some customizations to make it slightly more accurate. So this should be the actual clock circuit completely done. So if I sleep, it should make the clock start operating normally. Now the best way to, s to smoke test this is to wait till midday when it goes from 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock and make sure it changes to 12 o'clock when the sun is like directly over you. But there is also another way you can, you can like tell time. And I'm going to place an array of torches down here and I'm going to add some bells and whistles. Actually, I'm just going to add bells. No whistles, unfortunately. Unless you use, like, note blocks with the flute setting, but... <laughs> anyway, you can place those there, and then you can add some bells, like this. And then each of these bells will go off each minute. Although... Is the clock actually... Yeah, it looks like it's functioning. But I'll just do a... Make sure... I'll wait to midnight day and see if it's working properly at midday. Okay, it's just timed 11 o'clock, so in less than 50 seconds, you should hear these two chimes go off, this bell and this bell. Actually, it has to be the one next to it, because that's when the knock gate turns on. So you've got to, like, offset your timings one before, because it's actually the hour that's been spent that sets off the timing. But what's meaning to happen is hopefully once this sun is, this cursor is like right in the middle of the sun, that should be right when the chime goes off. And that will be able to say that the clock is completely and utterly synced right to our redstone. Which it should be because, well, actually, maybe not. That was slightly early. So it might be off by one thing, I have to check the bug. Now to debug the clock, I've just calculated and run through the maths to make sure I have the exact amount of items that need to be transferred, which is 63, because at the end of the day there's only two items left in the hopper. So I'm gonna double check the resetting circuit to make sure I only transfer 63 and no more than 63 items. And if it transfers one more, it will gain. If it transfers one less, it will loss. So if I update this timer, we shall see how many items will get retransferred into the chest, which represents the same as this circuit, transferring the hoppers back into the loading area. So once this clock turns back on, we can see the true result. So, oh. 
Oh, I've got some left over from last thing. But since it was, there's only one left and I put in a stack, that should be fine. But I'll just double check. Okay, now hopefully there will only be one item left in this hopper, which will mean that it's a success. And there is only one item left. So, I've got the right amount of items in here. There's another thing I need to double check. and Because I wonder how the clock gained that 10 seconds. That puzzles me. Okay, I'm just doing another midday sync test to make sure I've ironed out that bug. It may have just been one of the items into the hoppers at the wrong time, but sometimes it's hard to tell because it's, it takes a lot of time? <laughs> well, we'll just see once this loads up and it's gonna be fine. We'll see in very soon. It should go off just about now there we go it's in sync now so maybe just me a small timing bug and speaking of bugs this bugs me so i'll change it to a brighter yellow all right that's a bit better okay now that i've got like the entire clock working now we can add some bells and whistles okay so i figured out one thing that i got wrong earlier which is that villagers actually start work at 8 o'clock, funnily enough, so that needs to go there, and I may as well update this too. Okay, to add the bells, you need to go to the area just before the one you want to go off. Say for this one, I want it here, and if I place this here, I need a comparator here, and I need a redstone line here. So, this should not update this when it's on, I believe. Then I need a repeater. I mean, a torch here. And actually, I'll put the torch here. And then I need a repeater with four ticks. And then this will go into a block with two bells on it. Now, to make this part as loud, I'll add an extra bell here. And... Hmm. This should have just gone off. Maybe I was a bit late. But, yeah, I'll do the same thing for the 11 o'clock area. Remember, it's the hour before the hour you chime to build this circuit to make it work. Now here, I'll do basically the same thing. But, I'll have to face the torch this direction. Otherwise, it's going to power that bell. And in here, I can place a hopper. Now, I want the 12 o'clock chime to be longer, so I'll place a block here. This shouldn't power the hoppers. And then a block here with another redstone on the same delay. And then another block here with two bells. So, hopefully this doesn't power any of the hoppers. And lastly, the 3 o'clock timer. I want this to be here. I need to place some... Actually, I could just do this to make it even more compact. And then maybe bring that... Um... Maybe I can bring this... Down. Using a redstone and then a... Thing like this, and then another block with just bells on it. And then just to make sure everything's right, I want an extra bell on the 11 o'clock, and one extra bell on the 3 o'clock. And we'll just have to check that all of this will work. Okay, we're just about 15 seconds away from the timer going off, so. In about 10 seconds, we'll find out if the 12 o'clock is working. <laughs> Any second now? There we go! The time worked! Oops, I accidentally got this one, one block too far to the right, so it only goes off at 4. That's a bit silly, I'll have to relocate it. Okay, there we go, that should be all the bell's chimes done. Oops, got that one. And... Oh, I've shifted this too close, and now that powers. 
Well, I guess the three o'clock chime will have to be a bit quieter than I anticipated. I could move the entire time to the left. Well, I'll just place the second bell here, that's easier. Now, all I want is a special timer that will go off whenever the clock resets. So all I need to do is I can build a, a hopper timer that can be controlled by this piece of redstone here. Nah, I don't think this is my design. I'll just go with a box standard, I guess. So I'll just put a repeater here with a comparator going into it at three ticks, which means this will be a eight tick timer, so it'll go once every four ticks. And then if I update this, okay, I made it too slow, bring it back to two ticks, and now relocate the bell so it's attached to this block. One tick, actually. However, I don't want this bell to activate during the daytime, so what I will do is I will... If I turn this on, will it power the bell? Yeah. So what I will do is I'll build this out about... Is it seven blocks? Yeah, seven blocks. And then I'll put a daylight sense detector. A daylight detector here. So then, hopefully when this resets... But when I go back to bed... As soon as I get up, it should stop. And that should be all the circuitry I make, although this is going to make the clock game because this is going on for too long. Okay, so I've got the entire clock done. So now it has timers that go off at 8 o'clock, at 12 o'clock, and also at 3 o'clock. And then it resets at about 6.30. So, I've got all the things done here. This is the, the 3 o'clock chime, which is only two chimes. I've got the 12 o'clock chime, which is three, and I've got the 8 o'clock chime, which is also two. And then I've got this resetting circuit, and this chime goes off about one second after it's time for bed. So when that bell is going, you know it's bedtime. So now, if I sleep, this clock should be completely ready for service. Wait for it. There we go. Oh yeah, and it times once when it becomes daytime as well. So, now this whole clock should work well. As you can hear, I've re-added the tick tock. Tick tock, tick tock. Time is a tool that you mount on the wall and wear it on your wrist. Okay, that's enough. Okay, so now I've added a few little hinters. So, like, I've labelled 8 o'clock as villagers begin work. I've labelled, um, the 12 o'clock as midday. And the 3 o'clock, or 1500 military time, as villagers gather at bell. Also, any second. Yep, there we go. The 8 o'clock time is gone. So this should be the entire clock done. Now all that's left to do is to build it a little covering and it's all ready. Now bear in mind if you want to build a facade over this clock, you need to have exposed areas above the three daylight detectors. This one, this one, and this one. Otherwise everything could go out of sync or just not work at all. Okay, here I am back at my starter clock. You can actually notice that if you look inside here, this one actually has less times, but it's not as compact, and it's a bit different. But in the end, it is basically the same whole design. So, yeah, you can tell that I actually managed to improve it a little bit in certain ways, like I managed to get rid of this and put it off to the side to make sure that it doesn't like interfere with how many times it's in, in the clock. So, after all of this, this is going to be the end of this redstone video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like on this video. And hit that subscribe button if you like to, my content and are interested in seeing more. Anyway, this will be the end of this video. And 
Eighty-six, seven, seven, one, six, and I'm saying goodbye.